morning children so today you are going to learn the new chapter chapter 3 questions part 1 so this is the brief introduction what i have written on the board so that you get an idea about what you are going to learn in this chapter got it chapter 3 questions so let's get start let's see a short introduction okay so three major types of questions we are going to learn in this chapter which are they first yes no question second wh questions third alternative questions now what are all are these types of questions how they have been differentiated so let's read and understand yes no question first the reply to this question is yes or no isn't it as a name itself as a name itself it's your yes no question so you will be asked question and you have to just reply in yes or no nothing else no other information about that only yes or no so such type of question is known as yes no question for example have you had lunch kya tumne khana khaya so yes or no ha ya na will she go out this evening yes or no if you are going then no problem she is going then yes if not so no so this kind of sentences are known as yes or no question okay and never forget to put question mark question mark is must because we are learning with chapter chapter 3 questions next moving on to the next type wh questions so what is this wh wh here this a uh, small kind of uh, short form implies that all the question is related to wh see what when why who where and how also is included in wh question so all the question words are known as wh questions here you can't reply in yes or no you have to give a complete answer if i ask where you live so i can't say yes or no na i can't say yes or no because it's not a question we answer in yes or no you have to give i live in gandhidam understood so this is a complete kind of question where you have to reply in a full sentence for example where is vidya's house i can't say yes or no that to say it is in lalba you have to give complete answer okay next third one alternative questions alternative ye kya to ho alternative options given to you understood in the question itself option is given to you and you have to choose any one do you like to have tea or coffee tea or coffee so this is alternative alternative means giving an option choice to you a ki wo chahiye tumhe tea chahiye ki coffee chahiye understood so the reply is one of the options given by the question itself for example is her name ashwini or anksha option is given in the question itself isn't it so you have to what you will give 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 answer give reply how you will reply you will reply her name is ashwini first ashwini then ashwini or not then anksha okay so this what is the brief introduction of the what we are going to learn this chapter now we will go each and every time in detail okay children first one yes no questions so we are going to learn in detail about yes no questions what are these questions understood it is formed by placing the verb before the subject what before the subject verb this we have learned in subject also if you remember children we have learned that subject comes after the verb in interrogative sentence the same way here also when the yes it is formed by placing the 
वर्क बिफोर द सब्जेक्ट अंडरस्टूड सब्जेक्ट के पहले आता है वर्क सो लेट्स सी हाउ फॉर एग्जांपल योर हैंड्स आर वेट दिस इज अ अ स्टेटमेंट अ सिंपल स्टेटमेंट इफ समवन आस्क यू टू कन्वर्ट दिस इनटू यस नो क्वेश्चन सो हाउ आर गोइंग टू डू दैट सी आर फर्स्ट वर्क विल कम आर so the helping verb which are the helping verb is are am was were can has had all these are helping verbs so see here are then comes your subject isn't it so verb ke baad aata hai subject so that what is written here placing the verb before the subject Before the subject, are your hands wet? Then don't forget to put question mark. One more example. Ricardo was playing football. So how you will convert this into yes no question? Was because was helping verb is here. So question mark which helping verb is there? That helping verb only you have to take. Understood by writing the answer by converting the statement into yes no question. Whichever verb is there in the question, that verb only you have to take. What it should be? So was then subject. Ricardo. Then the remaining thing as it is playing football. And question mark. Don't forget to put question mark. So was Ricardo playing football? So answer you will reply yes or no. Okay. Now next, when there is helping verb in the statement, its question form will have this structure. The same what we learned here. The same structure. What will be the structure when there is helping verb? Helping verb plus subject. Helping verb plus subject plus main verb. Plus other parts of the predicate. If there is a plane, plane is the main verb. Was helping verb. Ricardo subject. Plane main verb. And plus part of the predicate. Football. Plane football is the predicate. Got it? So here for example, can Alicia sing well? Can is helping verb, isn't it? Alicia. is subject sing is main verb isn't it main verb and from your other parts of the predicate so can alisha sing well and question mark next question also should people protect trees first what will become helping verb this is helping verb understood people what is people people is subject Next, protect main verb trees. Remaining part of the predicate. So this is how the structure. What is the structure? Helping verb plus subject plus main verb plus other parts of the predicate. This is the structure or the formation of yes no questions. This is how you have to follow. When there is helping verb in the question. When there is helping verb in the Question. What did you read? Now, when there is no helping verb in the statement, then what we will do? Because we make question with the help of the helping verb that is there in the statement. Understood? He is, was, were. We take that first. Then the subject. Then the main verb. Then the remaining part of the sentence or part of the predicate. Isn't it? We do like that. But what will happen if there is no is, was, were, or has, had, can, could, should is not there? Then what we will do? So here is the answer to that. We will use do, does, or did. What we will use do, does, or did. Now let's see how in what all conditions we have to use these things, these words. Understood? So see present tense. If your sentence is present tense, present means at present going on, okay? And past tense already happened. So present tense. In present tense, what we will use? If the subject is 
singular then thus if the subject is plural then do understood i ke sath hamesha every time you will take do i is exceptional means understood rest all comes under this category singular thus if the subject is singular subject understood if your subject is singular then thus if it is plural then do okay so let's see what's the formula thus or do depending upon the subject plus subject plus base form of the verb if it is may be written then you have to write make understood if it's written makes then you will have to write make base form likha hai base form of that verb you have to write so base form of the verb plus other part of the statement or other part of the predicate for example the verb goes around the sun see this is simple present tense this is not past tense this is simple present tense goes and there is no verb there is no verb means helping verb main verb is there but helping verb is not there so how to make question first of all we have to see the verb is singular singular the verb is singular so what we will use for singular does does then subject the verb goes the verb base form around the sun question mark Here also, elephants lay eggs. Elephants, elephant the elephants plural. So what we will use? Do, do elephants lay eggs? Do elephants lay eggs? Because lay ka lay only because it is a present the base form only they have used in the question also. So do elephants lay eggs? Question mark. Got it? Okay. Moving on to simple past tense. Here no tension. For singular and plural both you have to take did directly you write did. Simple past tense. Understood? So did plus subject plus base form of the verb plus other parts of the predicate, other part of the sentence. For example, Suraj made tea. This is past tense. Made. past tense isn't it made 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 it is like that so did suraj base form of this verb make t question you painted the wall did you subject painted the paint base form the wall rest of the part of the predicate and question mark Okay, children. Now let's move on to exercise one. Exercise one. Rewrite the following statements as questions. Question number one. Bamboo is a type of grass. Now, what is the formation? Formation is helping verb plus subject, then the remaining part of the sentence. So here is bamboo subject, a type of grass. Question mark. Next question. Sanya is watering the plants. Is Sanya watering the plants? So is helping verb. Then Sanya subject. Then the main verb. Then the remaining part. Fernandez was the captain of a ship. Was Fernandez? Because was is here the helping verb. So we are taking was first. Was Fernandez the captain of a ship? Question mark. I eat three bananas every morning. Answer now. Here, children, I have explained you when there is no helping verb and if it is simple present tense, we will use do, does. Do we always use with I, isn't it? And does we use with singular? So here I is there and this is a simple present tense. So we will take do. Do you? Understood? Do you eat? I will become you because I am asking. You are asking to someone. Okay. So do you eat? Eat three bananas every morning? Question mark. Next. Zarina will 
come home tomorrow? Will Zarina come home tomorrow? Will. Again, auxiliary verb. Understood. Will Zarina come home tomorrow? Question mark. Some fish can stay out of water for a long time. Can. Can again is a type of a helping verb. Can some fish stay out of water for a long time? Question mark. They should call us before delivering the packet. Should. Again, one type of helping verb. So, should they, subject, call us before delivering the packet? Question mark. Next. It would be better to go to the city in the morning. Would. Again, one type of helping verb. Would. It is subject. It. Then rest of the part of the sentence. Be better to go to the city in the morning. Question mark. Next. You can enter the house through the back door. Now can. Can is again one type of helping verb. So can I. You will become I. I enter the house through the back door. Question mark. Viru could save Jan from drowning in the lake. Could. You will take first helping verb, subject, then rest part of the sentence. So could Viru save Jan from drowning in the lake? Question mark. Next. Dilip, Faran and Amea practice for an hour in the evening. Now see here children, there is no helping verb. Can is not there, would nahi hai, would nahi hai, should nahi hai, is nahi hai, am nahi hai, are nahi hai, were nahi hai, nothing. No helping verb. Understood? So, and this is what? This is simple present tense. Practice, simple present tense. So, we will, and this is plural. We are talking about three person. So, plural. So, we will write do. Do. Then subject. We are talking about Dilip, Faran and Amaya. Do Dilip, Faran and Amaya practice for an hour in the evening? Question mark. Next. I look like Prithik Roshan. So here I come, I because we are talking about do you look like? It's not the correct manner of saying, asking. Okay. So when you say someone kya mein Prithik Roshan ki tarah dikh rao kya mein? So I, you will use their I. Again, there is no helping verb. There is no helping verb. And I ke saath hamesha do in simple present tense. This is simple present tense. Understood? So, do I look like Prithik Roshan? Question mark. Next. Reshma disliked Chapati when she was a kid. Now, Reshma disliked Chapati. Here, there is no helping verb. We can't take this as a helping in the beginning it should come. So there is no helping go. And this is past tense. This slide. Past tense. So hum kya lege? Did. Understood? So did. Reshma subject. Dislike. Dislike. We will come into dislike. Whenever we use did. To what does the base form of the verb we will use. Dislike will become dislike. Did. Reshma dislike Chapati when she was a kid. Question mark. Jacqueline dreamt that she had become a movie star. Now, here again there is no helping verb. So, and this is past tense. So, in past tense, what we will take? Did. Did Jacqueline dream? Dreamt will become dream. Base form of the verb we will add. This is past form. When we have do, who does, they take a sign, which we take a verb. Base form of verb ho jata hai. Isn't it? Dream that she had become a movie star. Next, you created a fuss about the leaking tap yesterday. Fuss means mata batangar banana. That's to create a problem, a big problem, to create an issue. Fuss means. Now, here again, there is no what? There is no helping verb. So, and created past tense. So, did. Did you create a fuss about the leaking tap yesterday? Question mark. Next. Anamika, Selene and Pratish built a kennel for snoring. Kennel means where the dog lives. Understood? Kennel. So here again there is no helping verb. And built past tense. Built. So did. Did Anamika, Selene and Pratish build? Build a base form. Build a kennel for 
glory. Okay, children, that's all for today. Hope you understood this exercise. Do this exercise in your notebook. Write this exercise in your notebook. I will be sending PDF of the same. Okay, so take care. Bye and thank you.